13 and a half weeks out now, so I thought I'd do an update on the rig. Um, so this is how we're looking. Let's get some good light. Now I've just finished the workout as well, so got a little bit of a pump, not too much. Um, so the last few weeks, what's changed? Uh, so from 16 weeks out is when I've actually started my cut. Um, so obviously from then I was in a calorie surplus. And then start of week, uh, week 16 when I started my cut, I moved down to baseline. So moving back down there, I did drop a bit of body fat in that first week. And then ever since week 16, week 15, week 14, I've been dropping my calories by about 300 uh, calories a week. Um, training has kind of uh, stayed the same throughout the last few weeks. Same intensity, uh, not changing too much for there. But this week, um, I've actually just started cardio. So 30 minutes steady state on the treadmill, uh, six days a week. Um, absolutely hate it, but needs to be done. Um, and then also I'm calculating my NEAT. So for those that don't know what NEAT is, it's non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So kind of your day-to-day -day things where you're kind of uh, using calories or burning energy that's not exercise related. So, um, so things like uh, say mowing the lawn, doing housework and stuff like that. Um, so how I'm calculating this is steps. So each day I need to hit a minimum of 10 to 12,000 steps, just so I can keep consistent uh, throughout my cut. Um, so next clip, or next maybe one or two, we'll actually be showing you who our special guest is um, for this video. And look forward to it. All right, we're here at Icon Performance. Um, special guest here is IFBB Pro, James Khan. How are ya? Um, so I actually tried to record this before, but I forgot to turn the microphone on. <laughs> um, just finished up a posing session, and James reckons I'm not too bad at posing. Yeah, the rest of you screwed though. <laughs> Posing's all right, body's, body's pretty uh, in a bad way. Well, you, you'll be right, man, you'll be right. So I got a bit of homework uh, to do, and Probably meet up again in a few weeks. Yeah, a few weeks time when you're ready. Alright, sweet. And that's it. You take my hand and we'll go away to a different place. I'll float on air and we'll hide away. I'll be your escape. I look up and feel the shifting winds tossing us around again. So I just finished up my session with um, James, a uh, bit of posing practice, and I tell you what, he knows his shit. Um, especially with posing, not even posing. Uh, he could tell how stuffed my body was. Um, had a few injuries before, shoulders, knees, ankles, a um, lot. And he picked that up quite quick and actually gave me some huge tips to improve overall flexibility, mobility, um, stuff that's really going to help me uh, compete when I'm competing on stage uh, with my posing. Um, 
So he sent me some homework as well. Uh, you know, a few things just to help release uh, things such as my uh, pec. So, because a lot of uh, pecs are super tight, so I can't move my shoulder around as much uh, with posing. Um, but then a few tips to really, you know, get my abs switched on and improve my posing dramatically in only a few minutes and make me feel a lot better. Um, it was crazy. So I'm looking forward to take his advice, um, do all the stuff that he said, the homework that he sent me, and actually super keen to see him again in a few weeks. Um, he actually told me my posing's pretty good. It's pretty impressive, it so that's uh, give me a big confidence boost. Um, so yeah, a lot more practice over the next few weeks, and hopefully when I see him again. Um, can surprise him, show him that you know I put in the effort, put in the work, and um, we can get into a bit more of getting a routine set. But we'll wait and see. Um, another thing that I was going to mention so, with where I'm working at UP Ultimate Performance in Sydney, um, we do a lot of education. So, we've done uh, education today to do with protein. So, um, pretty much covered everything with protein. How much protein you know you should have uh, and how much we recommend our clients um, timing sources of protein so uh, meat fish and what we can potentially do for vegetarian clients um, also amino acid profiles and you know kind of differentiating between uh, say supplementation uh, difference between protein supplements um, and you know really being able to look at what is shit basically and what is good so um that's one of the future videos I'd like to uh, put up on YouTube stuff to do with like you know about that stuff like so protein um, the sources how much should you really eat and information regarding that and you know go a bit more into diets and stuff like that so stay tuned, um, we'll get into that, uh, and yeah, more videos and more good stuff to come. And I'll see you next clip. Big boy here, how many reps of 80 did you get? Um, 15. <laughs> You only got six. <laughs>